Welcome everyone back to a brand new Minecraft video. Today I'm going to be talking about water elevators, how to go up and down in them, and then we'll be quickly constructing one of our own. So what do you need to make a water elevator? Well, you need a few things. You need obviously water, and then you need some kind of method to make it all water sources, which you can use with kelp, and then you can either use, what's this called again, soul sand, or magma blocks to go up or down. So soul sand to go up and magma blocks to go down. Now, magma blocks are obviously quite common in the nether, but you can also find them in the overworld. So, for example, if you're going along in your boat in the ocean and you start going bloop 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 in your boat, that's probably some magma cubes, magma blocks rather, pushing you down. Now, soul sand you can't really find in the overworld, but again in the nether, especially in the soul sand valley, you know, where there's lots of soul sand, you can find loads of it there. So, those two are quite easy blocks to come across, especially in the nether. Now what do you need to do in order to actually make this water elevator? So first of all, let's just actually go through the water elevators. We have one that goes up, like this, this is the soul sand. It's go up quite fast. And then we have one that goes down, like so. Again, it makes you go down quite quickly. Now notice that when you are in the one that goes down with the magma blocks, you legitimately, you can't go up. Now I'm actually flying, but you cannot swim up. I'm holding space and I can't swim up. Now conversely, if you are in the uh, one with the soul sand, so the one that goes up, you actually can't go down at all. So I am now in the water, as you can see, and I'm bobbling up and down, and I can't go down at all. I am pressing and holding left shift, and I can't go down at all. So make sure when you make your elevators that you have some kind of plan, so you're not going to just you know go up into an area that you can't escape from, or go down and then get stuck, and you need to break a block, and so on and so forth. Now, as you can see here, I've actually made an empty one, I'm going to construct a water elevator. I'm going to actually go up in the elevator. So I'm going to collect my ingredients. I need water bucket, soil sand, and kelp. And kelp, you need as many kelp as you have your water elevator high. So for example, if I want to have a 30 block high water elevator, I'll have 30 blocks of kelp. Obviously, look at the signs as well. Make sure you subscribe. And then I'm going to tell you what to do. So what you need to do, first of all, is you go to the top of the elevator and put down a water bucket like this. Very simple step. Next, you want to go all the way down to the bottom and turn all of these water blocks into water sources because currently you have that one water source there and it all flows down. So what you need to do is you put a kelp block and then another one and keep going up until every single block is a kelp block. Again, very nice and simple to do. Also, kelp can easily be found in the ocean as well. as It is one of the more abundant blocks in there. And as you can soon see, it's very easy to harvest. So what you need to do is break the bottom one and then it all breaks. And funnily enough, it actually floats. So if you want to collect your kelp up again, you just go to the top and you know, obviously for some reason, some of it's floating a bit higher than normal. But if you're, for example, in the ocean, you don't need to you know, go around all the ravines, etc. trying to find your kelp. You can just go up to the surface and collect huge amounts. Now, since I want to actually go up in this water elevator, I will need a soul sand block. So what I need to do is replace this grass block or dirt block here with soul sand. And here we are. It should be working now, hopefully, and bam. I imagine if it didn't work, it would have been very embarrassing and also quite frustrating. So there you have it. Water elevators for your survival world or creative world or adventure mode world. Whatever world you want to have. So thank you for watching. Hope you enjoy and have a great one. Also watch my other videos and subscribe, please. Thank you and goodbye.